Hello YouTube, this is a house interior t uh, tutorial building video or whatever you want to call it and uh, so I'll teach you how to put like uh, floorings inside your houses and maybe some wall decorations and what to do to make your house or buildings or whatever kind of architecture that you want to make and there's all kinds of different things you can do the most simple is just probably putting a basic floor on it uh, but I'll teach you how to do like tiles and wooden planks and there's new textures for that as well but I just recommend doing it manually because it looks nice alright so wh what we want to do here is that I don't really have a house yet so I'm gonna build one real quick so let's just take this block right here and edit it down take away its texture and put it into plastic let's build over here let's make a 50 by 50 little base plate and just pretend this is like a um I need to lock that real quick pretend that is a house floor so what you want to do for uh, wooden planks for example as is um, you probably want to get a plug-in for this but uh, studio will also work so I'm gonna put my increment down to 0 0.1 and just move it just above the floor itself. So let's go up just 0.1 or a tenth of the stud. And now we're already studying on the planks. So um so let's make this wood real quick. Wood wood wood. Okay. And it also looks nicer if you have uh like a black uh floor under it. So let's make this black real quick. And then I don't know what I copied that brick for. So I'm going to put my increment to zero point or 2.1, sorry. So that way when you move this brick, it's going to make a tiny space in between each plank. So it will look like this, and it will look very realistic and um, detailed. And now this is this basic plank, so you can put more in between the stuff, but it's going to get more difficult if the more you do. And this is probably the most basic type of... Uh, doing basic planks and you can make this whatever color you want whatever you suit so you can just make it like this or whatever but I'm just gonna do this color so we continue on from here until we cover this whole floor and I'm just gonna do multiple ones at once just to save a little bit of time and by the way I'm using the F3X uh, plugins kit just search up F3X on plugins or I can also send you a link if you wish and let's make this floor a little bit bigger since it's kind of off but it's going to be off anyways and unless we totally fix it so now you have basic wooden planks and now let's just build walls to show you an example of like what it looks like in a house let's change this back to one so pretend this is like a house interior or whatever so now you have your floors and to decorate your walls um, I recommend putting windows in your house so this is usually how I build windows I make this nice and low and then I put like uh, walls around it something like that and then let's say we want to have a window right there and make sure they're symmetrical too so that they look like right. So let's measure how many studs it says this will be. Let's make this five. So one over here. Five. That's five again. And let's make uh, a big space in between there. And let's make sure that's five studs. Yep, that would be five. Okay. And then we don't want, I wouldn't say probably making windows these tall. So let's put a block right here. Uh, we probably want to make this block individual, otherwise it's kind of frame tear into the other ones, and it'll start you get that frame glitch where it starts like tearing into the screen and stuff, and that doesn't look too good. All right, so we have our wall. Let me change this color so it's a little bit easier to see. Whoops, I accidentally copied the planks. Okay, there we are. It's a little bit easier to see now this way. Okay, and it's frame tearing under there, but just ignore that. 
So to make a window, you want to get a just a basic block or whatever you want to use. And I'm going to do something a little bit more advanced for I'm going to make like panes kind of. And you can make your windows whatever color you want, whatever floats your boat or whatever you call it. And this is quite transparent, so I'm going to lower it just a little bit to like uh, 0 0.7, let's say. So now we have our window. And since it's going to be a plate, it's going to go on the edge. So what I want to do is put this at 0 0.1 so I can move it more precisely. Make sure that's symmetrical. And it's not, but it'll work. And to save uh, part count, you can just move your window throughout the whole thing. That's what's nice about the thinner windows. They're thinner to the walls. That way you can just like resize it and it won't interfere through the walls. Now it is going through the wall but since uh, it's smaller than the wall it doesn't interfere with it if that makes sense. So that's windows for you and usually I don't do um, interior decorations at all. I just might have um, maybe like some random stuff around there. So if you want to decorate this I recommend you have a C-frame tool just to make it look a little bit nicer. Let's make this block, uh, let's say, 0 0.2. And yes, these tools will break sometimes, so if that does break, I'd recommend restarting studio. So let's just make a marble block right here. Let's make this a little bit smaller. So just start like res resizing blocks everywhere, putting them in random orders and such. And I do this more precisely, and right now my increment for the rotate is 15, so it's not, it doesn't look very random. But just to decorate your walls. So you could do something like that. For interior decorations, you can do whatever you want. It's a house, or whatever kind of building you want to build. I shouldn't say house, because it could be anything. That's Roblox. Okay. So this makes your house, or build, building, look a little better if you have these decorations on it and you can also put bricks on the wall as well so similar to the planks you can go like this or whatever and then start copying and pasting it but I'd recommend you do them in a random order as well but it might take a while so you can do something like this where you got bricks these also look really nice alright so to do uh, like uh, if you have like a kitchen for example I guess you'd use tiles in that. So let's delete this wooden floor. At the same time we're selecting the bottom floor. So let's get in there and delete that. Okay. So we're going to use this wooden plank right here. And let's... Oh, there's another one. Okay. Let's make this... Hmm, we'll line up a 50. Let's do 5. So let's make this gray, and you can make whatever tiles you want, and you can do them also in a random order. So let's do something that you would have, like, in a kitchen. So let's do marble, make this black, and then... Okay, those two parts are together, so let's separate them, make it look better. And then make this white, and then make our increment 5.1, so we don't have to do all the manual stuff. I know this isn't a random order, it's just copy and paste. In a kitchen you would have like uh, tiles that it's like uh, black, white, black and then it, it changes diagonal to, diagonally too so instead of having white here it would be black, white to white something like that. Okay so to finish this up copy and paste this, make your increment 10.2 because it's gonna be two blocks so just basically double it and there you go you have tiles and these look really cool actually so that'll be pretty much it for house interior designing um, or building whatever I keep calling it house and I would recommend you pick up a C-frame tool and you can do this in studio I just recommend you use a plugin because usually it's just easier for most people and I'll make more tutorials later uh, just Throw me such uh, suggestions or what you want for the next tutorial. Or if you need help with anything, I can also make a tutorial for that. I'm probably going to make a tree creating tutorial next. And also make some plug-in tutorials for you guys. 
anyways I hope you enjoyed this I hope this helped you out some more and again the tools I'm using is F3X but you can use whatever you want uh, whatever works best for you but this building set or tools works best for me so anyways thanks for watching please subscribe like and also share this video and have a nice day